Hello, today I'm gonna speak about solder, about soldering, and I'm gonna show you about two methods to do that with two different soldering machines. First, it will be the soldering pistol, and the second, it will be the soldering pen, which most of the people know. First, what you need to do is soldering your wire that you that you'll solder. For that you need to steal them. If it's only one, doesn't even you don't really need to do this. But if there are more of two or more, you need to strip them and put them together. That way, it will not split when you when you are going to solder them. Now, with the soldering gun. The tip will hit only when you push the button, so you can take the solder, I have some scrap solder on my table. Leave that cooling down, it will be like 2 or 3 seconds, that will cool down, and after that put it in flux, this is flux. Okay. In this moment I can leave this like that for how many time I need to put my, my thing in, things in order. So when I have my things in order, like the wires that I need to solder, I just bring that near and push the start button. It will melt the, the solder and it will melt the flux. The flux will flow on the, the flux will flow on the wires and it will help solder the solder stick on it. and you end up having something like this. Now, when you have your wire solder, prepare the things that you want to solder off, and the thermo shrink. I prefer using thermo shrink as often as I can. Put the thermo shrink on the wire, Put this in a holding device. Of course, you can do this without the holding, without the helping hand, but it's better that way. It's better this way. Take the solder. Now it's still hot, but it's not to melting point. You will take some flux on the tip. Put it up. You can put it straight straight down or you can put it at an angle okay I need to put this on an angle because it's easier to carry in the backpack so I have my solder on the tip and my flux I just bring heat it up the flux will flow after that the solder will be right behind And when everything will be to a temperature, it will just flow in. The end up result has to be, should be something like that. Perfect. Now I'll leave this to cool up before I put the thermo shrink on. Okay. 
that I will have more control. And this is how you solder with the soldering piston. Now, total different thing. The soldering piston it's more, I don't know, for beginners and for heavy stuff. Uh, it will, yeah, I don't, it's not for beginners, but it will definitely help beginners understand better how it is done. Now I have this soldering pen. As you see, the tip is not is not shiny. It should be shiny, but it's not. Anyway, that's a big problem of these of these uh, machines, not having the the tip shiny. So, what you'll need is some kind of uh, cleaning thing. Some people just use sponge with water some people buy from internet or from the local store some wool like this with uh, like a fancy support and they like pay like twenty dollars on that but the easiest way to do it's buy a, a quality soldering pen uh, the one from the Chinese doesn't really make the job like this one now this is like a two bucks to two euros soldering pistol i don't i really don't like this i i don't know how, how it works i don't like because this it will uh, the tip will be corroded in time so this has like i don't know a few hours of, of work with it and it's always corroded and i just peel it off once and again corroded so this is it will do the job but I'm not recommend it and it's a lot more difficult to, to solder with this one anyway the, the quality one you need to maintain it this is this for this kind of sol the soldering pistol you need to have like an infrastructure you need to have this which if you want to buy it from internet is like it will end up to 10 to 20 euros depending of, of what you buy and you will need a stand this is my stand it's a homemade stand I received this from a friend so I, I before I working with the other one with the southern pistol after that my friend just gave this to me this is a very nice I like it very more much and I made before paying $20 to a stand and a wall and a tin can I just made it myself this is uh, a stand from uh, from some wire and a board that I found on the dumpster. And this is wall. If you buy it from your local supermarket, it's for cleaning dishes. So it's in this color. In this supermarket that I have here, if they have it in this color. It's more expensive, and they have it in uh, silver color, and it's more a lot more cheaper. I bought this because. I like the color and I've seen on the internet on this color but I pay like one euros on it and on the internet they will charge you only for this like seven euros so <laughs> you make the the, the mats after that you will need somewhere where to put it this is a thin can from a sardine I think it was fish inside I just clean it up and figure out this is just the the way to do it you will need some kind of flux now I had before this kind of flux I just buy it from the local store it's like a peanut butter <laughs> it has the same consistency and smells different and kind of like the same color It does the job with the pistol, but with the with this one, it's crap. You cannot really use it. It oxid the the tip. It looks oxidized very quickly, and the the solder the soldering will not go well. And I pay like almost five euros on this crap. Now you can go on the internet and I buy this from eBay. This is Rosen. I pay like 70 cents on it 
uh, it's for uh, for strings like a violin or something like that it's 70 cents and it's a lot more better than this one yeah just like this this is going to the sky and this is crap i probably throw that one of these days so buy rosin as a flux this is pine rosin i think it's natural stuff i don't know that one what is but it, this does the job and keeps your your tip unoxidated for example right now in oxidated if I put it in this one, it will make no difference anyway. It will be like the same oxidate or worse. But if I put it in this a few times and after that stuck it into the wool, you will see that that shiny tip that you will need it. Now this tip will go bigger and bigger if you put it here and put it in the solder, okay? This will go a lot more bigger because that solder will go around now the way to work with this one you will kind of like always need like a third hand to fit the solder in uh, this doesn't really work with taking the solder on the tip and putting it to to the to the wire or where you want to solder it in the final why because this is always hot and it will burn up the the flux that that's inside the the solder because this solder has flux inside the same flux that you I have here so the, the way you need to do this is like with the third hand just put this in the third hand and feed the solder on well it's another technique but you need like an, a movement of hands how I'm gonna show you right now like before Slip the wires and put it together. Now, if you have only one wire, just give it a few times like that to make it like flush when you have the wires together just take the, the soldering iron and you can go like right here and do it but doing wire this uh, it will not it will go but it will not be optimal okay? so what you got to do go with the soldering iron to the flux and just dip it in flux when you feel that like the flux is burned just put it one more time you need to have like always flux on the, on the wires in the way that the solder will stick better this is very important this wood now I have this, it's a little bit longer, I'm going to cut it down to the lathe. Now this is the lathe that I can use. This is the connector that I want the solder. I'm going to put shrink tube on it. Now comes the, the really interesting part. Now, I don't have solder here and I need to put, I need a, a third hand to put solder in or to fix this on. So it's very simple, just keep the wire and put it into solder and take it out. What this will do, it will put a fair amount of solder, of uh, flux on the wire. After that, just clean the tip a little, take some 
solder and go straight to the to the plug and put it there. Now what will happen? The solder from the from the tip of the soldering machine will melt the, the flux on the wire and you can do this and the flux will clean clean up everything and you will have your soldering point anyway I need to leave this a little bit up no, it's okay. let's see this is what I kinda hoping for However, I think I just soldering, soldered it to very at the bottom. I don't really like that. I need to lift it up a little. Okay, so I'm gonna do this, do this. I'm gonna take some. If you move it very quick, the, the flux it will not over burn out. So you can transfer it on the on the area where you want to be. Now it's a little, more, a little more up on the plug, so this is kind of like what I needed. I'm gonna do the same in this other part. Now, because it's a 30 watts soldering iron and the piston is like 150, this will take a lot more longer to, to heat up big amounts of solder. For example, how I have here. But it will do the job. Now this is a result that I like, really expected. I'm gonna let, leave this to cool off and I'm gonna put on the, the heat shrink. Like this. Now the way you wanna put the heat shrink it's pull it up the hitching has to be like straight just heat it up all of it and pull it back that will that way you will have like these 90 degrees that I looking for The other side the same. Just pull this up, pull the heat shrink over, this is kind of like a little tight.
pull the heat shrink, push the heat shrink a little more up over the, the edge. That way when it's shrink it will grab on the on the edge. And the same, if you want 90 degrees, just bend it to 90 degrees. Okay, why 90 degrees? Well, very simple. I have these, they are connectors for my charger, so I want to be 90 degrees because this way I'm gonna put it just like that in the backpack and it will not make a, like a force against the plugs. Of course in the backpack will be a lot more things that just uh, the charger. So yeah, this is it. Thanks for watching, bye.